and welcome Libra. This is your September 2023 mid-month reading. Of course, all the videos on my channel are timeless, so whenever you come across this video, you are most likely meant to hear the message. It's for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, but if you are not none of those things and you find that something resonates here, again, you were probably meant to hear the message. I'm just going to start by resonating our sound bowl once. You can't really hear the singing on camera, but the, the bowl does resonate. Hope everybody's doing really well. We are gonna get right into it for my Libras, my fellow Libras, I should say. Okay, seven of wands and a very similar message popped out of the Oracle deck while I was shuffling it earlier. So I feel like someone's going to put you in a position where you're feeling defensive or the need to defend yourself in some capacity. I feel like this will ultimately work out in your favor, but you may go through a time period where you feel defensive because of someone else's behavior. Okay, let's get some more information on this. Yeah, Nine of Swords. This might put you in a Nine of Swords or... I think if you stand your ground, whoever's trying to do this to you is going to end up in the Nine of Swords, okay? Because I'm getting here that you are just kind of minding your own business, living life in your own lane, and somebody's going to come at you and it will make you feel defensive. But because you are such a high vibration, high vibrational person and a high vibrational being, um, you're ultimately going to be successful and that's going to put your enemies in the Nine of Swords. We have the Hermit here, so Virgo energy. Um, it might be prudent for you right now to go into a time of hermiting or not complete social isolation, but a time period where maybe you're keeping a little bit more to yourself or reflecting on something because I do sense that there's an energy around you that doesn't have your best interest at heart. I'm not sure who that is. I'm getting like a maternal vibe, so it might be like, a mother figure it doesn't have to be like your mother or your mother-in-law or anything like that it could just be a maternal figure someone who has children um almost like an empress in reverse type energy is what i'm picking up here somewhere around you somewhere in your energy and you're going to be put in this situation where you feel like you need to defend yourself okay but again you are going to come out victorious here might be a virgo who's doing this, all right? Take that as it resonates. Might not uh, resonate for everybody. We have, okay. This is the wheel, Wheel of Fortune in this deck, and it's coming out in reverse. So you are meant to kind of serve this karma to someone, all right? However this situation plays out for you, you're gonna be coming out victorious, and whoever this person is that's in the Nine of Swords, this empress in reverse that I'm picking up on, your behavior towards them or the outcome of this situation is going to be karma for them is what I'm picking up on here. For trying to do you harm, essentially. Okay, this is the ace of swords in reverse. Some of you might be lacking clarity right now but something is eventually gonna come to light. You're gonna understand more about this person's motive, what they've been trying to do behind your back. Um, you're gonna have all the information at some point, but right now I feel like that information is not readily available to you. Yeah, and we have the Four of Cups in reverse. Okay, and what I'm pick picking up here for the Four of Cups reverse is that kind of goes along with this hermiting message here. Maybe some of you have been in a time of isolation. Um, and if you if that's not applicable, then you might go through a period of isolation in the near future, but you're going to come out of it rather quickly. For some of you who have already been in this period of isolation, whether that be in love, in your career, that's going to change abruptly. I feel like maybe you've had to be defensive. Like maybe you already know who this person is that's made you feel very defensive. And this could also be your energy as well here too with the Nine of Swords. 
So maybe because you've had to defend yourself against maybe like a potential love interest that you didn't know if you could trust, um, it put you in this period of, of anxiety, nine of swords, social isolation, okay? But clarity is going to be coming to you about something with this person. This person is going to be dealing with negative karma for trying something on you or not treating you properly. And you're about to kind of enter this new phase come out of this period of isolation and enter this new phase. And I'm getting that for a lot of you, it is in your some kind of social sector. So for some of you, that's going to be in your love life. For others of you, this might just have to do with like a friends group um, and just getting out there and making more positive platonic connections as well. But the good news is either way, you're going to be coming into this more positive time period. Okay, let's get some information here on the seven of this is the seven of wands in this deck. All right, so what does Libra need to know about this Seven of Wands? Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, it kind of has you, this is your normal state, Libra. This Nine of Pentacles, very self-sufficient, unbothered energy. Whatever has made you feel defensive, or again, this could be futuristic, whatever's going to make you have to feel defensive here, is going to kind of turn your world upside down a little bit. Your sense of stability, sense of self, sense of balance those things might be turned upside down at least momentarily but like I said there's really no need to worry because you just kind of need to stay in your lane stay on your ground you're going to be coming out on top here because of who you are and what your frequency is and um, you're in the right in this situation so whatever this person or people are trying to do to you it's not going to be successful this is just going to be maybe how it feels momentarily as you first have to deal with this yeah, the Hierophant in reverse. I'm getting that for some of you, you may even question your spirituality when this happens. Um, or it might require you to really, really stay strong in your spirituality. I get that somebody's going to be trying to call you out for violating some kind of contract or social norm, but this is not the truth. Um, this is how this other person or people, that's how they're going to try to portray you. But you are going to be victorious because everything they're saying is false, okay? And again, you coming out victorious is going to be like their bad karma, okay? And they're, they're going to be receiving a lot of bad karma for what they're trying to do or how they're trying to spin some kind of situation to look like you violated some kind of social boundary. Queen of Swords reversed. So you might be dealing with another Libra. Or an air sign, so another Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, this is the person that's in a nine of swords right now. Um, they're very strategic, very manipulative. I think I said on one of my most recent videos that the queen of swords is not always evil or like ill. She doesn't always have ill intentions. But when she comes out in reverse, that's exactly how I do read her. So someone who's conniving even, trying to get a specific outcome, trying to get people to view you a certain way. Maybe that's why you were in hermit mode, Libra. Maybe you've had to pull back from a social situation because I'm hearing the word slander. Someone's trying to slander you or tarnish your reputation in some way. And they're doing this for some kind of personal gain or for some of them, just out of pure jealousy and malice, all right? But they're in a nine of swords because as you kind of hold steady in this situation, they're not going to be successful and that's putting them, everything that they're trying to send at you, it's coming back to them tenfold. So really sorry for whoever's going through this. I know how tough that can be, especially if it's a group of people doing it to you. All right, let's see what else. Knight of Wands, it's a very specific message that just came through. But I am channeling it, so I'm going to say it. I'm getting that this is a group of people that is not working in your best interest right now, Libra. And they're going to try to send the Knight of Wands into you. So it could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but it definitely doesn't have to be one of those signs. What I'm picking up more is the essence of some kind of flirtation, somebody who shows some kind of romantic interest in you. And... It's a false romantic interest. They're there to get information. They're there to basically try to sink you in some way, okay? Their goal seems to be to make you look bad socially um, and mess with your social relationships, mess with your social capital. If you have never heard that before, social capital is kind of like the clout or the, 
the water that you hold socially is the best way I can put it. Like the, the stock that people put into you socially. Do people respect your opinions? Do people respect you as a good person? You know, things like that. Um, and while it's great to live life in a way where you don't care what other people think about you, I mean, I personally try to live like that whenever possible. There are certain situations, like especially at work or in certain friends groups, where if someone tries to negatively impact your social capital, it can end up neg negatively impacting you and your circumstances. I do get here that this might be a work situation for someone. So a group of people that kind of wants to make you look bad because you're an overachiever. I mean, Libras tend to be overachievers and tend to be very skilled at whatever it is that we put our minds to. Um, and I'm just getting a very heavy sense of jealousy from a group of people toward you, Libra, okay? All right, I wanna get some clarity on this hermit energy. Again, this could be you. I, I do get that the hermit is you. I just don't know if it has been a period that's been happening already, a period that's been underway for some of you. For some of you, you might be going temporarily into this hermit mode as kind of like a, a defense. Seven of Pentacles, yeah. For some of you, you've either taken a time to hermit and kind of step back and step back and evaluate your options, okay? Or evaluate the situation from a distance where you're not so emotionally involved in it. Or for some of you, that's going to be what you need to do when this happens, okay? Interesting message coming out today, Libra. Yeah, you're going to be when you go into hermit mode or when you went into hermit mode. Okay, it allowed you to get a clearer perspective that was more like, like I just said, emotionally detached so that you can think clearly about what was happening and you were able to release some of this burden that you were feeling around the situation. Um, let's get some information here on the wheel in reverse. This is the negative karma coming to whoever has been trying to basically mess with your nine of pentacles, okay? Because you are in this nine of pentacles. That's how people see you. Maybe you've recently gone through some kind of body transformation or glow up or you financially have become more stable and people have seen that. Um, I also get that you're someone who kind of marches to your own drum here as well. Like you're somebody who... You stand out from the rest, you're unique, you're not the same as everybody else, and sometimes that makes you a little bit of a target, especially, especially when jealousy is involved, okay? So it's like this one-two punch with some people um, who don't accept you because you might be a little bit different, but then also their people tend to be very envious of you, whoever I'm picking up on, and that you know, makes you have to feel defensive and to, to put you in a position where you have to defend yourself a lot. Um, but because of everything that they've been strategizing behind the scenes, I do get that they're going to immediately receive negative karma here. And like I said, your victory in this situation is part of that negative karma for them. Let's get some information here, though. The Hermit again. Okay, so yeah, you going inward, you taking time to kind of sort the situation out before rashly making any kind of movements or decision or action forward, that is what allowed you to gain the upper hand here. Again, it could be futuristic. So if it's, this hasn't happened yet, that's what's going to allow you to get the upper hand in this situation. Okay, and as Libras, we, that's one of our strengths. So taking a step back, being level-headed, being cool and calm before making a decision, that's one of our strengths. So that is what you have either done or you're going to do. And that gives you the upper hand, which immediately leads to their their negative karma coming in, okay? I'm sorry that this is not turning out to be a more positive read, but I do just like to deliver the messages that come through without sugarcoating. Somebody needs to hear this today. Ace of Swords, which very interestingly came out. This is the Ace of Swords in this deck. This is the Ace of Swords in reverse. So right now, I don't think you have all the information, but after this time period of hermiting, you're going to come to more clarity in this situation. You're going to receive information, a message, or just come to some kind of like aha moment about what's been happening here and the best strategy for you to use moving forward. For some of you, that might just be like moving away from this group of friends, or you might decide to, if this is something going on at work, you might decide to do something differently in your day to day to kind of protect yourself against this situation. You're going to come to this revelation, though, when you're in your hermit mode, 
okay, whether that be past, present, or future influence, okay? Right now, though, I feel like some of you are, like, you're unclear about what's happening, or you were at one point, which is what caused you to isolate. Let's get some information here on the Ace of Swords reversed. Six of Pentacles. Let's get one more. And the tower. Okay. So when this happened or happens, it feels like a tower moment to you. Like I said, though, your strategy, instead of immediately and impulsively reacting, your strategy is to pull back and to kind of assess the situation before deciding what works best for you in moving forward. It does feel like a tower moment. And I feel like maybe some of you are going to feel like your generosity was uh, taken advantage of or your good nature was taken advantage of in some way um you're gonna feel betrayed by this situation i know we don't have the three of swords or the ten of swords out on the table quite yet but when you find out who's involved in kind of stabbing you in the back and what their true motives were yeah it's gonna feel like a tower because you are going to feel betrayed and taken advantage of um, but like i said that that distance that you're gonna put between you and the situation to gain a fresh perspective, to gain, uh, to assess what's been going on and the best strategy that works for you without emotionally responding, that is what's going to give you the upper hand here. Okay, we have the Four of Cups in reverse, which means after this time period of hermiting, you're going to be ready and willing to trust again. Okay, so this is not going to like put a permanently bitter taste in your mouth. It's just something that you're going to have to deal with in the moment. But um, once you overcome whatever this situation is, you're going to kind of slowly transition back into this period of being willing to trust people again. Let's get some information, though, here. Strength. Yeah. Because of your strength, there's Leo energy here, but because of your strength in this situation, it's not going to tarnish you. It's not gonna, going to affect you long term. It's going to put you in a position where you come out victorious Okay, I wouldn't be surprised if we get the Six of Wands. And also, you'll be ready and willing to move into trusting people again. It's not going to alter who you are or, you know, your sense of security long term. It's just going to be something that you have to navigate very short term. Okay, but your spirit guides are like commending you for the, the very high level of strength and high level of courage that you've been showing in this situation or that you're going to show. Um, you are coming across as somebody who's very, very, very high frequency, very high value, um, very high status in the spiritual world, okay, in the spiritual realm. And I think people underestimated you from the outside, Libra. You tend to be very nice and accommodating and kind and generous. And people, you know, sometimes if they don't have great intentions, those characteristics are seen sometimes as being weaknesses, okay? We, we know that they're not. But some people view them that way, especially if they're being opportunistic in some way. Again, I do get that somebody wants to tarnish your reputation. That's the primary message that I'm getting here. But you're going to be strong. You're going to be unwavering during this situation. And it's going to put you in a position right back on the path to success once you're able to kind of navigate whatever this is. Okay. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, you learned a lot about yourself during this hermiting, this time period of hermiting. Okay. Okay. Um, you've learned a lot about yourself. You have put those les lessons into action. Maybe you've done a lot of like soul searching over the past several months or possibly even years for some of you is what I just heard. And you've made a lot of internal changes. You've done a lot of shadow work. Whoever this group is that's trying to cause some kind of upheaval in your life, it's like they're not fully acquainted with this new version of who you are, okay? So they're used to dealing with some kind of older version of you, maybe a more unhealed version of you, and they're expecting things to come out a specific way. And it's not going to come out that way because you've learned many, many lessons. You've done a lot of shadow work. You're putting that into practice. You're gaining more clarity about yourself and possibly this situation, and it's going to allow you to be victorious. Okay. I'm just going to pull one Oracle card, Libra. Again, not the most positive message, but the potential outcome is very positive because it's going to be something you overcome. Ultimately, it's going to actually uh, 
add to your soul's growth and add to your own spiritual journey. And it's not going to be something that affects you negatively in the long term. Yeah, brother and sister. So that might be significant. One moment. I'm sorry, my phone is ringing. Brother and sister. That might be significant, okay? So this situation might involve a family member for someone here. And, you know, that might be the betrayal. That might be this sense of, I feel backstabbed, okay? It might be someone that you were close to or even a family member. Um, but it says transformation on this card. And I, I wholeheartedly believe that that represents your current energy, all right? You're somebody who's, like I've been saying, done a lot of work on yourself. I get for a lot of you this hermit mode is past influence because of things that you've had to already go through. I actually don't get that this is new for most of you. I get that this Four of Cups reverse is the energy most Libras are going to resonate with right now because you've used your strength and you've used your, your lessons to transform yourself. So you're now ready to kind of start transitioning back into maybe circumstances that you weren't ready to deal with before or new social situations, new relationships, whatever the case may be. You pulled away from those things in order to gain your balance and gain a more a healthier perspective and do work on yourself. But now that that's been done and that this transformation has taken place in your life, you're ready to start dipping your toe back in. That's what that Four of Cups energy kind of represents to me. Okay, you are moving away from a feeling of the Four of Cups and, and more into this new era, okay, new phase where more positive things are about to flow in for you, all right? Deer may be significant, deer imagery. Somebody might love um, deer. You might have them near where you live. That might, you might, Bambi, I just heard Bambi might be like a favorite Disney character or movie for someone, so that might connect. Um, fairies might also be something that you really like or resonate with as well, okay? I hope that this was helpful, Libra. Please let me know if it resonated in the comments. If you could like, comment, and subscribe, it would really help me out and it will help our channel grow. Other than that, though, I'm wishing you all the peace and harmony, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.